Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, are you ready for some big money bolos? Oh my goodness, these are gonna be awesome. So these were shared by my Facebook group members. So what I did is I posted this screenshot in my Facebook group under the announcements in the featured section. It is share your best January bolo. So people in the group, everyone is welcome to share their bolo. It will be, um, I will be sharing the bolo item. I'll tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. The person's name will remain anonymous unless they are a Bolo Buddies member of my YouTube channel. So we are going to get started here. The first item, I'm basically looking at my Facebook group and I am reading what they wrote. So you guys have the first hand from the person that sold it. And then I'm going to pop up screenshots of what the bolo looks like. So this is a fantastic way to learn. Again, if you're not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, why not? Uh, the link's down below. Go join and check the featured um, announcements section and share a Bolo, you guys, to be featured in a video. All right, let's get started. The first item paid $3.18 for this item at the Goodwill, and it is a vintage 1989 Mr. Bingle. Okay, so Mr. Bingle is a Bolo. Um, Sold this for $100, you guys, and the buyer paid shipping. That's what it looks like. And they these come in, um, there's different types and styles. So anything Mr. Bingle, look it up. I got these for 50 cents at a yard sale this past summer. Love the game, but also knew that the dice were a bolo. Okay, phase 10 dice, huh? So it says 2001 Phase 10 Dice plus 1992-98 Phase 10 Card Games. Sealed, new old stock, Kmart Rummy Dice. Sold for $69.99 with free shipping. That's amazing. See, sold a lot of eight spiritual new age books. Cost was less than $8 for all eight books. We have a bookstore in the middle of Tennessee that gives more store credit than cash for used books. So we drop off some books from the local dollar store and use the credit to buy more valuable rare books. That's really smart. Sold this book for $85. Actually, it says um, $8 for all eight books. It looks like it was eight books for $85. Looks like this sold on Mercari. Um, if you guys are not selling on Mercari and would like to learn how to sell on Mercari, I do have a step-by-step -step video that shows you how to do that. I did have some problems recently. My account got completely closed um big mess i have a video on that but i had it reinstated within 24 hours so super happy about that but if you guys want more details on what happened um go check that out but i love mercari um i've been selling on mercari for i think it's like three three and a half years something like that and um i do have a link down in the description if you guys want to sign up to sell on mercari you get a coupon and then i get a coupon and it's really cool coupon and then I think you get a coupon when you um, sign up and then when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So it's pretty cool. That link's down below if you want to check it out. Paid 25 cents each, not realizing they were more than just a Christmas mug. Cool, right? When you find a bolo and you didn't know it was a bolo. William Sonoma, 2012, Twas the Night Before Christmas mug set. Sold for $44.99 plus shipping. This guy was on my bolo list. How many of you have a bolo list? Let me know in the comments, what is number one on your bolo list um, for years? And finally found one at a thrift store for five bucks. Sold it for $170 plus shipping in about a month or two. It is a, a vintage Commonwealth Jumbo Love Elephant Puff A Lump. And I recently just sold one of these. Mine had some stains on it, light stains. Um, I got it at an estate sale for like 50 cents and I can't remember what it sold for. It's in one of my what sold videos, but definitely a bolo and mine was a little guy. This is a Lisa Frank. I'm going to share it, but she didn't share where she got it or what she paid for it. But I know that Lisa Frank is a legit bolo. Um, I also know that there's a lot of reproductions coming out. It used to be that you knew that they were vintage because they had a capital L and a capital F, but now they're reproducing it with the capital L and capital F. So you have to be careful. But if you can find the vintage, this one is actually a 2014 Lisa Frank Bluetooth speaker. 
and it sold for 105 so that one's not even vintage um but definitely lisa frank look it up just make sure you don't get something that's new and not valued at a lot you got to be careful i bought a bolt of the daisy kingdom fabric at a thrift store for $5.99, 15 yards total. It's a rare discontinued print, highly sought after, sold the first three yards for $125. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Daisy Kingdom is definitely a good um, bolo item. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I'm like, what is going on? So she must have YouTube pulled up and it looks like she's watching Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you, which is so funny because I know um, Valerie from their channel. Um, I see her over there all the time. I don't, I guess, I'm not sure if I met her first or I can't remember. I've known her so long from the Facebook group and stuff. But anyway, you can see here she's got auctions for you and Donatella Bottolino pulled up and they do selling events on their channel and I buy inventory from them. So I will bid on things at their auctions or I'll buy like mystery lots from them and I part them out and uh, unbox them, I should say, on my channel and show you guys how I listed everything. But it's super, super fun. And I've got a lot of those videos and I always make a lot of money. So go check them out. Okay. Um, the next one paid $4 a box at a local discount grocery store. Uh, Starbucks Vanilla Cafe Latte, two-step K-cups, 36 count. So... I don't know what two-step K-cups are, but this sold for $80, you guys. $80 with free shipping. How cool is that? Wow. Okay. Sold in about two minutes despite damage. Paid $1. It is a vintage USAF cadet wool coat from the 1970s Air Force. And I'm trying to figure out which platform that is. I don't know if that's maybe Facebook. I don't know, but it sold for $50. You guys might know. It could just be one of the apps and I don't recognize it. So this one paid $8, I think. It was a surprising one for me. Onsen, O-N-S-E-N, towel set, three piece. Sold for $55 plus shipping. Somebody, and she got it at the Goodwill. Okay, the next one, Vintage Hallmark. Could have gotten higher, but I was happy since it was free. Um, looks like a little box damage, but that's okay. Vintage Hallmark 1979, our first Christmas together ornament. And it says box damaged in the title. Sold it um, on auction for $26 plus shipping. So one thing that you will find are like our first Christmas, baby ornaments that say like um, a date and then say they say first Christmas. So what happens is, is people hang on to these things for many, many years and it gets broken. What do they need to do? They need to replace it. Where do they turn? eBay. So these items do sell, you guys. Uh, let's see here. We have, we got it at a rummage sale for $15. Sold for full asking price on eBay after two months. It says Vax or Vox Stomp Lob Guitar Multi FX Pedal. Sold for $68 plus shipping. So it's a guitar pedal. Unexpected January Halloween item. Rescued from the trash. Listed six months on eBay, you guys. Put it on Facebook Marketplace early December. It took a month before I accepted a $220 offer. Free shipping, which only cost me $10.80 on Facebook Marketplace. Rare vintage lighted scarecrow blow mold. Never heard of these, but comps looked good. Listed for $99, took an offer of $91 after a week and bought for $5 at the Goodwill. It says Zim's the Elves themselves, 1999 Clifford Christmas collectible figurine with bells. Got it in an estate sale for $7, auction and sold it for $135.50. Juicy Couture shoulder bag. So this was even an auction item. So it looks like some juicy couture st can still uh, pull some money. It looks like it was velour. Sold in one week with damage. 
It's a 1980 Hallmark Frosty Friends first ornament, a cool Yule Mary no box, no books. So $155 plus shipping. Who would have known? Um, let's see. She said, I paid about eight cents for it. I bought a giant bin of ornaments for $9. It had so many ornaments in there. I almost donated, donated it thinking because it was broken, it wasn't worth anything. You just never know. Wow. So she looked up comps and just decided to go with it. So she said, with the box, it's over 300. The box alone can get you almost 100. Wow. Someone said they found one over the summer at an estate sale for a buck. How cool is that? I purchased Goth Stan at the Goodwill Outlet for less than 25 cents. I listed it at 144.95. Comp showed 150, but my tag had some damage. Sold within a couple hours of posting at full asking price. So it's um, Comedy Central South Park plush goth stan you guys it's only seven inches can you believe that bought these poker chips at the bins so probably paid less than 50 cents i couldn't find anything about them so just picked the price at 25 dollars. basically instead of redonating them sold in less than 15 minutes e -e. guys that bought them or guy that bought them has a full a store full of only poker chips when something sells that fast, I'm always like, what did I just sell? So something like that, I would probably auction the first round, um, maybe start it at $24.99 and just see what happens. And then the market is going to tell you if it has value or not. So if I were her, I would like be poking around their store afterwards to see what they listed the item for. I've done that with stickers. So this has happened to me. I sold some stickers and I looked at the person's store and they only sold stickers and I'm like, I messed up. So I wonder if she went in and actually checked the store. If you did and you're watching, let us know in the comments. What did he sell your poker chips for? Paid $6, it was brand new in the box, but the box was a little beat up. It is a um, new Conair Body Benefits Deluxe Hydro Bath Spa Tub Jet, guys. Six bucks and sold it for $100 plus shipping. What does BOLO stand for? BOLO stands for Be On The Lookout. Items you can buy low and sell high, essentially. That's what this group is all about. That's what all my videos are about. Thank you for asking. Sometimes I forget to mention that, but um, pretty awesome, right? I bought this on Facebook Marketplace and didn't even know what it was. Paid $20. Bottom is cast iron. Top is ceramic. Turns out it was a vintage 1980s wood burning stove humidifier. You put water in it on the stove and the steam comes out the nose. Sold for full asking price of $350. Well, that was a good hunch. Um, sold on Etsy. Very, very cool. Purchased price, purchase price at Goodwill, $7.99. Sold in two hours for full price of $329. Willis and Geiger trench coat. Never heard of that brand. Uh, this is what it looks like. And it looks like it's wool lined size medium. How cool is that, you guys? $329. Would you have walked past it or would you have bought it? That is amazing. Somebody asked her, did you know the name brand or did you just think it seemed good quality? I've never seen that name brand before. It looked like quality. I put it in my cart and comped it out. So you guys, sometimes I know I see clothing resellers that are like, I just go through the racks and I feel stuff because they know quality. Sold in five minutes. I got this from a friend of a friend that sold me a bunch of stuff that I paid about $2 for on average in a big bulk purchase. I saw, I saw no sold or active comps on eBay. I found the exact same Raiders hat on Worth Point that sold for $41. So I thought I listed it high. Obviously, it could have fetched more money, but I'm really happy with this sale. It sold for $124.95. It's a Raiders logo snapback hat. So you guys, if you don't have Worth Point, you're probably like me and are, are like, no way, I'm not paying that much for it. I think my um, I paid for the year and it was like 200 bucks. So... Um, not bad for a year and it has made me money. I have a video that says it's called something like is worth point worth it. And in the video, I walk you through 
why I think Worth Point is worth it. So I, you're probably like me and like, no, I don't need it. Um, but it is definitely worth it. So check out that video. And if you decide you want to try it, I do have a referral link down in the description. If you would use that, I would greatly appreciate it. But check out the video first. Make sure it's right for you. It's great for people that um, have harder to find items, more unique items. But you would be surprised. The things you can't find on eBay, you can definitely find over there. I got this Eva Varro tunic at the Goodwill for $4.99. I just love the bright colors, but had never heard of the brand. I checked eBay solds and found out this is a bolo. It was listed for three weeks. I had it listed for $39.99 and sent an offer of $35 plus shipping. I will definitely look for this brand again. So that is not a brand I've heard of, um, but I don't do a lot of clothes anymore. But it's definitely very bright and looks different, you know, like a unique pattern. Somebody put, I've sold several Eva Vero items. They always sell quickly for a good price. So somebody else in the group confirmed it. Okay, here's this word again. Arcturex, Arcturex, it's a jacket, bought for $10 and sold it for $180. It looks like it sold on Poshmark. Um, I have seen this brand before. Somebody else has shared this brand. So definitely must be a bolo. All right. Some Tommy Bahama stuff can be really desirable. I bought these for $17 and, char and change at an auction. Um, it also included four crystal vases of the same brand that haven't sold. So these are Tommy Bahama etched martini glasses, you guys. Cocktail barware, tree design, set of five, sold for $180 plus shipping. Bought this at a Goodwill for $35. Manager told me these are $100 online. She did not know if it was worth way more. Only took two weeks to get full asking price of $249.99. So it is a Rapala Giant Shad Wrap Lure. Store display, 24 inches, open box. Pretty cool, right? I got this at my local thrift store for $2. Listed it for $70 and took an offer of $58. I am a very new seller, but I'm getting the hang of it. It is a rare vintage 1991 Sue Johnson doll limited edition, four of 300, wood hand, wooden hand carved. All right, this comes from Bolo Buddies member, and she does not have a YouTube channel, but she has one of the most amazing eBay stores that I have ever seen. Um, it is called Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop, and everything in it is just amazing it's literally like i look through her store and i'm like where do you find this stuff it's just vintage and amazing um she is in all of my featured members videos um if you check out that video there will be a link in the description of that video if you want to go check her out or you can just type into ebay hair horse and hair curiosity shop she sold this um bought it for two dollars and sold it for full asking price it's a dark department 56 storybook ornament Queen of Hearts, Alice in Wonderland. So $40 plus shipping. Wicked Weasel. One piece bathing suit. Apparently Wicked, we wickled, <laughs> Wicked Weasel, that's a tongue twister, brand is expensive. I literally found this new with tags in my Goodwill bins for $1.89. Sold in less than two hours for $85. So I guess be on the lookout for Wicked Weasel. Not a huge profit, but definitely not something obvious. Paid $3.50 for a box full of miscellaneous holiday items at an estate sale. And this little guy, two inches, was hiding in the bottom. Sold in about four hours, full asking price. I've learned to look everything up. It's a vintage original toy fur collectible, mouse, West Germany, adorable little chef. Sold for $19.99 plus shipping. So if it sold within four hours, maybe it was underpriced or maybe... Um, she just happened to get lucky and the right person came along. So I picked this up at the end of an auction. No one wanted it. Um, with the other things I picked up, this ended up costing me about a dollar. It sold within seven hours of listing it. And he offered me 150 instead of 175. I was asking, but it was because he wanted upgraded shipping and then the snowstorm delayed it until tomorrow. It was supposed to be delivered last Friday. Definitely look out for these signed art pieces. So it says signed and numbered, print by Robert B. Neiman, unframed, unmatted, 
Hofstra University. Anyway, this one comes to you from Bolo Buddies member Designs by Josie. She has a YouTube channel. She has not put any content on it, but she is working on it and it will be coming soon. So definitely check her out, Designs by Josie on YouTube. The next item comes from the Cha-Ching King Scott, and he is a Bolo finder, you guys. He, I mean, he sells stuff for thousands of dollars, so you definitely need to go and follow his channel. But he also does stuff to help people that are newer and beginning on eBay, like how-to videos, like how to start an eBay store from the very beginning. He has a video on that, so go check that out if you're new and if you're not new, if you want to learn about big money bolos, wait until you see the next featured members video. Oh my goodness. So this car badge was an unexpected sale. I picked up a bunch of car badges at a sale last year. This one was one of them. It is a vintage Fiat radiator emblem enamel badge oval red. Um, sold it for $249, you guys. So I, I don't even... The stuff he finds, like, he gets such great prices on it, and he sells it for huge money. So, again, cha-ching king, check him out. You will not be sorry. All right, you guys. We, um, I'm going to have to do two videos because we're already at 20 minutes on this video. So, this is share your best January bolo. So, February should be up by now. Depending on when I drop this, it, March may be up. I'm going to start working on it. But, you guys, these are super fun. It's a great way to help others learn. Um, if you're not a member of um, my Facebook group, definitely go join. It's completely free. It's free to be in this video. If you want the perks, the additional shout out to your channel or eBay store, you can join memberships over on my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, this channel. Just click join. If you don't see the join button, there's a link down in the description. No pressure if you're not interested in joining. No worries. This is just for perks. Everything else on my channel is completely free. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave me an emoji of some sunglasses or glasses or something fun. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.